And welcome into your Wednesday CTV Sports page. I'm Monica Magnet, and it's a big day in the world of college basketball as players across the country are announcing where they'll be taking their talents next year. Locally, McNamara defensive tackle Damian Prince had folks holding their breath as he announced his decision earlier today. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Damian Prince, and I want to thank everybody for coming out, but uh, I'm going to be playing my next four collegiate years at the University of Maryland. Yeah. Going through this decision, everybody sounds the same. Everybody's saying great, great things. So uh, it's really you kind of have to weed out uh, what you feel is real. And um, my decision that I made here today was solely based on me. It was solely based on where I thought that I was going to mature and have the best opportunity to play uh, the quickest and uh, the best opportunity to make the best out of my next four years playing collegiate football. The Big Ten is a great conference. Uh, you know, that's a great conference. Uh, I want to say, statistically, I don't know if this is correct, but I want to say they have the most linemen drafted uh, over the last 10 years. So, uh, and they play in a great conference, which is balanced of both run and pass offense. And uh, I feel like that, that again, will uh, help show me and uh, help uh, display my skills as an offensive lineman as well. Prince wasn't the only McNamara football player to sign today. His teammate, wide receiver Jordan Crockett, also signed to play at the University of Albany. Uh, my name is Jordan Crockett, and I will be taking my talents to the University of Albany. I've been waiting for this moment a long time, and at one point I didn't think I was going to be able to get a full scholarship because of my size. People looked down on me as if, you know, I wasn't ready for the next level. Um, but I can stand here proud to say that I've made it, you know, through um, my faith in God and everything. We love that these kids heading on to the next level. Now, Terps head coach Randy Etzel had to be pleased with that announcement. According to Rivals.com, the University of Maryland recruiting class jumped from number 71 to 51 based on the events that happened today. Now, just down the road, the Suitland Rams, the regional champion Suitland Rams, also had players making their decisions, and we were on hand for the signings. Nick Nelson, cornerback, going to Hawaii. Why Hawaii? That's on the upside of the world. Because I'm a play early and make a name for myself. Overall, just traveling and meeting a lot of a lot of recruits, a lot of players. Best freshman cornerback in the NCAA. Break records. Anthony Jackson, linebacker, and I'm going to University of Delaware. I plan to get my degree and ball out uh, on the field. The most special part for me is just the, the brotherhood that, that I gained throughout the, these four years of my life, and it's just been, been very special. Brian Freeman, outside linebacker, and I'm headed to Malone University. What are you hoping to accomplish at Malone? Uh, you know, just to keep the student tradition alive with great players, uh, hopefully get a good education, and make it to that NFL level. My name is Dakari Ellis. Free safety, I'm going to Linderwood University, Bellevue. Tell me about the process about you in Linderwood. Uh, I went out for the visit, and I just felt real comfortable there, so decided to make the choice. A very proud head coach, Ed Shields, told me while he's excited about the football part, he hopes that when the players reunite in a year, they've all gotten it done in the classroom first. Now, just up the road, closer to College Park, WCAC champs DeMatha also held a signing for more than a dozen of their players. Uh, from, from our football year, you know, we, we, we had an unmatched season. Uh, the first time we played a national schedule, uh, we finished 11-1, and one, uh, ranked top 20 in, in the country. And it's truly a testament to all of the hard work um, from, from these young men and, and, and the other uh, team members uh, f from the DeMatha team. Those are the young men that Coach Brooks is referring to. They were all on hand as they celebrated. DeMatha had 20 kids commit. That's Brock Rubble. He's headed to Florida State next year. And then there's a Wisconsin hat because the Stags made history. They sent players to Wisconsin for the first time. Both Taiwan Deal and Chris Jones will be headed that way. One of the 80s joked that this was like the Last Supper. Look at all those names. That's only half the list. I mean, you got kids headed to Penn State, Purdue, Wisconsin, Virginia Union, NC State. They had a total of 20 commitments today. So congratulations to the Stags. They got it done. 